Hi, it's Jack here at System Trader, and in this video, I'm going to present you how the data sources are organized in System Trader software. So, first of all, um, in System Trader, you have the data built in the historical data, and also you have the access to the, let's say, premium data sources, which is covering over 70 stock exchanges all over the world. So, basically, you have access to everything you can dream of. But um, in order to get access to the data, um, so if you have um, any kind of um, let's say portfolio you want to test and it's based on ETF then you have a built-in stock indices uh, which are going back even to uh, over 100 years um, so for example if you go to money management and you will see a simple uh, portfolio which is built of uh, in this case two ETFs you have also uh, so-called backfill data which is going back to um, uh, even year 1900 which is over 120 uh, years of uh, data coverage and in order to get access to that data you have to uh, go to the system trader group and here you have um, listed um, uh, stock indices or uh, commodities or bonds and and so on uh, the data which is covering 50 60 100 years and even more but this is the historical data. But on top of that, you have also access to the latest data coming from ETFs uh, or stock exchanges, um, I mean stocks, um, and other um, other uh, assets like Forex or even cryptocurrencies. And to get access to that, uh, you have to go to the data menu. And here in the system trader, you can uh, see uh, the import um, entry. And here you can just select the country from which you want to get the data. So let's say if you take, um, I don't know, uh, United States, you can click on it and you can just select which um, uh, data you want to get. And let's say that you are interested in ETFs. So after clicking on that, you can see that you have stocks, you have ETFs, you have funds and so on. And you can just simply import whatever you want. And it's a daily data, but it will be automatically updated once you open uh, your application again. Or you can also uh, go to the uh, data uh, menu and trigger the, um, uh, the, the update. If you want to get access to things like uh, commodities or uh, Forex, you just need to click here, not the country, but just unknown, and then you, you see the whole list, commodities, cryptocurrencies, Forex, uh, indices, and so on. But let's imagine now that you want to get stocks which are um, part of a given index. And let's say that you are interested in S&P, S&P 500. So in order to get all the uh, stocks which are uh, part of that index, you can just uh, go to the data and system trader and import um, index. And then if you, let's say, enter here S&P 500, you can see uh, that index here. And then basically with um, just one click, you can get access to all these uh, stocks. And you don't have to select them one by one. You can do it just uh, with a, a simple uh, operation. And as I said, if you want to update the data, you can click always here. Or when uh, you are just opening uh, the application, at the beginning, it, it is also automatically updated. Uh, if for any reason you cannot find the data you are interested in here, which is very unlikely, but let's say that indeed you cannot find the data you are interested in. You can still import the data using the uh, text files, uh, the Metastock, and other uh, formats. And also you can get data from Norgate. Uh, Norgate is a premium paid data, but if you are interested in American uh, stock uh, uh, stocks or Australian or futures, uh, then it's a very good uh, Mm, uh, good choice if you are looking uh, for uh, very uh, good quality data. But for most of the cases, System Trader will be modern enough. You can also import the data using the, uh, the Yahoo. The problem with Yahoo is that uh, although it's free because this data, I am paying for that, but it's included in the price of the software. But here it's uh, totally free data, but it's not well, very reliable. And um, you cannot have a guarantee that this data will be available tomorrow or that uh, its quality is okay. And even if, if you find any problem with the data, 
Uh, I just cannot write to Yahoo and say, uh, hello, could you please uh, fix that? Because it's a free data, so I, I cannot <laughs> request anything. But in case of uh, data which is taken from the system trader here, if you find any problem with that data, I can just write to them and they, I mean, the unicorn company which is behind this data and they will just fix it. Uh, that's it from my side. Thank you very much for your attention and have a good day. Bye-bye.